In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Uber Suggest, which is recently relaunched and made free. I'm going to show you how to do that and also show you a little bit about keyword research. And I know I have a puppy in this video, but I have him here for a reason. It will help make keyword research make sense to you. We're going to do all of that in this video. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com, where I make WordPress tutorial videos with a little bit of help for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe subscribe button if you don't want to miss a thing, a thing click on that notification bell ouch okay so we are talking about uber suggest in this video let's just go ahead and jump on into it so okay first of all what is keyword research it's simple it is a process of trying to figure out content ideas or keyword phrases to target that someone would enter in Google or be searching for and you would want them to find your website. It's quite simple. A perfect example of keyword research is, well, with this little puppy right here. See, I never had a puppy before. So you can imagine, and we've only had him for 10 days, you can imagine before getting a puppy, there was a lot of questions I had. And where did I go? I went to Google and I searched in Google for all kinds of phrases. What are the best breeds of puppy? What are the non-hypoallergenic puppies? So if I had an e-commerce store and I sold puppy related products, um, or if I was an affiliate for puppy related or dog related products, I would be doing keyword research to find out what people are searching for that might find my website so you know they're searching and I would want to be ranking there to get all of that traffic now here's the thing what you think might be a great keyword doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a great keyword it doesn't mean people are actually searching for it so the search volume is important the competitiveness is important all of these things are important when it comes to keyword research because you don't want to create a piece of content or focus on a keyword that doesn't really get any action you want to choose the right keywords and there's also this concept of buyer intent keywords that's going to be for a different video so that's keyword research so uber suggest is a tool that's integrated in neil patel's website so if you've done any actually uh, i think i think we're losing a little interest here from a little lucky so let me put him off to the side okay it's just me now so uh what uber suggest is is neil patel he has uh kind of recognizes an SEO expert, has a ton of content around SEO. There's a little controversy around him too, but uh, I'm not gonna go over that in this video. But if you were to search anything SEO related, you're gonna find his website. If you check on YouTube, you're gonna find his YouTube channel. That is Neil Patel. So what he did in order to generate additional traffic to his website, he bought this tool called Uber Suggest and made it free and integrated it on his website. So we're gonna go through that today. And so uh, why is it free? I just actually said it's free because he wants the free traffic to his website by creating this or acquiring this tool, improving it and making it free for everyone. It brings in a boatload of free traffic, including the free traffic he's gonna get after I made this video. I wouldn't be making this video if he didn't have this free keyword research tool on his website so it just makes sense so primarily right now uber suggest is doing three different things we're going to see that in this video we're going to see if it's any good because we're going to compare it to another free tool that you may or may not uh, have heard of before now these three things are really just the starting point of what Neil Patel is saying is going to be coming to this tool. So it's going to be something hopefully that gets better over time. Okay. So first thing that it's going to do is going to give you a keyword overview. You're going to see, we go there, we pop in a keyword phrase. It's going to give us an overview of how much traffic. So how many searches per month there are for that phrase. And it's going to try to estimate the difficulty level. And then it's going to say what paid advertisers pay in order to have their ad appear when someone searches for that phrase. And then there'll be some summaries down beneath that you can drill into, such as keyword suggestions. That's a big part of keyword research is putting in what you think the keyword is or the phrase is and getting those suggestions or different content ideas. And then it's gonna let you know keyword difficulty and the way it does it is actually really good. Uh, it's one of the things I like about it is it's gonna list out the 
websites that are ranking for that phrase and it's going to let you know how much estimated traffic they're getting from the phrase it's going to let you know how many social shares that article or what is ranking in those different positions has and try to establish some domain authority so you could basically gauge what the competitiveness is in order to rank well for that keyword phrase and then uh, well actually i just uh skipped a spot that was the competitive intelligence <laughs> that's okay uh okay so the big question is is it any good we're gonna try to figure that out in this video okay so let's go ahead and take a look here so there's another tool that I really like and it, the way it works is it's a Chrome web browser extension and the name of it is keyword keywords everywhere and what it does it's free it's a Chrome extension so when you're searching anything in Google it will let you know how much traffic is coming in on that keyword it'll let you know the cost per click and the competition and it does all these other things that you can see right here so I'm actually searching for keyword everywhere and you can see I'm getting related keywords to it what people also searched the volume of those and right here at the top it says the volume of that phrase so you can see not a lot of folks are searching for keywords everywhere and then when you scroll down and you can see the Google suggestions right here you can get some stats on that as well so it's free you would go here to click right here and add the extension to your Chrome web browser and I believe they also have one for Firefox yes here it is install Firefox install Chrome it will work on places other than Google it will also work on eBay and other places that you can see it all listed right here so it's pretty good all right so I did a funny test I did a Google search for uber suggest and uh, keywords everywhere saying that this is searched 74,000 times per month but see you don't get kind of a graph to see what that's like now if you go and I'll have the link in the video description box or just go to Neil Patel's website or I'll put a direct link here's uber suggest and I did a search for that same word uber suggest now here's what that keyword overview looks like you get the search volume and you can see this is one of the things I like you can see how it's been changing over time so right here you can see 12 months ago there was only about 4,000 searches per month and if you look in a recent month it's about 12 over 12,000 searches per month so there's a discrepancy that we're identifying I think it's because there's been a lot of forward momentum recently and that's why uber suggest I'm sorry keywords everywhere is giving you the wrong information right there so you have this overview right here and as I scroll down here we get keyword ideas this is actually kind of where I think uber suggest is weak and so here's one of the suggested uh, keyword ideas the word uber well those two are not related at all so the uber suggests is very weak when it comes to keyword ideas okay but if you liked any of these you could drill into it and we're going to see a real world comparison and here's that uh serp analysis this is basically showing the websites that are ranking for that phrase and some stats on it so right here obviously uber suggests the website i'm on right now or neil patel's website is ranking and you can see that he's getting about 2500 uh view uh, visitors per month off of that keyword phrase and this is an estimation using a formula social shares and the the domain score okay so let's look at a more real world or realistic phrase that you might want to type in and this is where the puppy comes in how to train a puppy this is a very very real world phrase that i have actually recently typed in keywords everywhere saying that for that phrase it gets searched about 27,000 times per month and the uh, cost per click if i was doing a paid advertising is about 99 cents and we have all these rich additional suggestions here so here's what uber suggests is saying that off that phrase it's getting about 18,000 searches per month and you can see kind of the um, seasonality of it you see these spikes in December in January this is probably because a lot of children get puppies for Christmas and so and that's actually part of what uh, this puppy's for is for my son for Christmas but we're not timing it perfectly obviously uh, so you can see 
see it over time. Now see, here's where that weakness comes in for the keyword ideas. So we have how to train a puppy, but then we have dog training, dog training near me, potty training, but potty training could be potty training a child or some other type of animal, puppy training. So you don't get the great keyword ideas using Uber Suggest, but this is actually very nice to see trends for your keywords using Uber Suggest. So let's take a look at what you get out of keywords everywhere, which is free. Uh, so this is great. So we got related keywords, how to train a puppy not to bite. That would be a great article to have on your blog if you wanted this type of traffic. How to train a puppy to sit, how to train a puppy to walk on a leash. Puppy training guide, that's fantastic right there. That would be your lead magnet if you're trying to get puppy related traffic. You'd have a puppy training guide and it could be a PDF. Puppy training for biting, how to train a puppy to, to come, how to train a puppy tricks, et cetera, et cetera. These are amazing suggestions that you're getting here out of keywords everywhere, not Uber suggest. And then here's what people are also searching for. And keep in mind, you get to see the estimated volume off to the side of that. And then when you scroll down here, you get the same thing. These are those related searches right here. You get your volume and you get your cost per click right there. So for keyword ideas, it's gonna be a win in keywords everywhere over Uber Suggest. But I, like I said, I do like Uber Suggest in this seeing how a keyword phrase is doing over time. Also, let me comment on the SEO difficulty. I don't think this is accurate at all currently. That doesn't mean it's not gonna improve and become more accurate over time. I don't think it's accurate. Whatever formula or algorithm they have doing it I don't think is that great um, okay so as I scroll down now this is actually very nice right here is the SERP analysis so you can see the competitiveness of this phrase so right here we have puppy training how to train a puppy and it's akc.org they're estimating getting about 5,000 visitors per month off this one specific keyword phrase that's a lot of traffic and guess what no social shares probably because it's a org they're getting a little extra juice for it uh, so you have several other articles here and you can kind of gauge if this is going to be competitive or not okay so here off to the left of uber suggest i can click right here on keyword ideas and it's just going to take me straight to those keyword ideas right here now you can export these keyword phrases if you wanted to do deeper research into it or you can copy them into a clipboard now what's neat is if i click on any of these the competitiveness right here is going to dynamically change for it and I really like that so crate training a puppy this is actually pretty good so if I click right here on the orange arrow it's going to now show me the top websites that are ranking for that keyword phrase actually something interesting that I'm just now realizing for some reason when I click into keyword ideas right here the dedicated area in uber suggests the keyword ideas seem to be a lot better than the keyword ideas that it was showing me in the overview Crate training a puppy, fantastic keyword phrase. How to stop a puppy from biting. We saw that in keywords everywhere. So right here you can drill into these keyword phrases, something you can't do with keyword everywhere, and you can see kind of an idea of what you think the competitiveness of that phrase is going to be. But really you're using keyword research to get uh, ideas for content that you can create and keyword phrases that you can target on your website. So this is the keyword ideas. It does appear to be better data when you actually click on the menu. So let me just go back to the overview right here and I scroll down. We're getting lots of general and some random unrelated items, but the minute you click on keyword ideas, it's a little bit better right here and you can see better phrases as you drill down. And then the content ideas is an area of this tool that is not yet ready along with uh, some of these options down here. So I can't click on these. These are gonna be additional features that are gonna come to Uber Suggest. Uh, but we do get the SERP analysis right here. And this is basically the same information that's sitting there on the overview. And this is actually very good to just get an overview of the websites that are ranking and try to figure out why. Is it because of social shares? Is it because of domain authority? Why are they ranking and how competitive is these particular 
phrases. So you can see right now, um, Uber Suggest is a beautiful tool. It's an easy to use tool uh, and it's a little basic. Oh, one more point here. You can also do this in different languages, which is a pretty nice uh, feature. So uh, Uber Suggest has a bit of a ways to go, but I think it's a fantastic tool for being free. And the reality when it comes to SEO tools is you're gonna use multiple tools. So keywords everywhere is a total winner. Uber Suggest is really good. I think their strong suit is how quickly you can drill into a keyword phrase in order to see what the competition really is like. And it's also very strong on seeing how a keyword phrase performs over a period of time. So you can kind of catch these trends. And a lot of times you're gonna be able to see the various seasonality in the various keyword phrases. So anyways, uh, this video has been me and our new puppy, Lucky. And I hope you saw how simple it is to highlight and find keyword phrases that could give you content ideas for your website or if you're making YouTube videos for that as well. Hey, if you found any video uh, value in this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. As usual, if you are not subscribed, consider clicking on the subscribe button and the no notification bell if you wanna be updated when I upload new videos just like this one. Hey, thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.